a pretty short list because there's only two movies that I try to watch every year around Thanksgiving. Um, the number two spot would have to be Dutch. Um, I remember seeing when it first came out, uh, not theaters. I didn't catch the theater for some, you know, the theater for some reason when it first came out, but managed to catch it on uh, VHS when it was first released. I was up in McCall, Idaho, and staying at a timeshare and happened to walk into the, they had a little grocery store there in the premises and uh, was going through the movies. That you, you could rent, you know, VHS uh, movies that they had there in the store and saw Dutch and grabbed a copy and, you know, rented it and took it back and later that night, you know, watched it and just really enjoyed it and made a habit of watching it every year around Thanksgiving. Just a really funny movie. I mean, it does some pretty serious parts throughout the movie, but um, it's an overall funny movie. The fact that the character Dutch um, volunteers to uh, pick up his girlfriend's son and bring him home for Thanksgiving. You know, they never met each other, but, uh, you know, flies down. The kid's in a boarding school. You know, flies down and rents a car and has it all planned out, you know. Figures they'll get to know each other as they drive back home. But uh, immediately finds out that the kid's a spoiled brat. Just a big pain in the ass. Um, just constantly fighting throughout the whole movie. You know, trying to get even with each other. But, of course, by the end of the movie, you know, Dutch has him whipped in the shape. And he's not such a pain in the ass anymore. But uh, it's the movie I've always really enjoyed. It's a funny movie. Um... It's all the crap that they that Dutch has to deal with while trying to teach the kid a lesson because he's you know so spoiled and bratty. But uh, just a really fun movie. I just really enjoy watching. Um, getting ready to watch it right now. It's the night before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Definitely had to put Planes, Trains, and Automobiles in the number one spot. It's just a movie I've always really enjoyed. I remember seeing when it first came out on uh, VHS. Again, I don't, another movie I didn't see when it came to theaters for some reason. I don't recall why, but um, just another movie that I made a habit of watching every year around Thanksgiving. Um, just watched it again last night. It's just a really, really funny movie. Of course, it does get really sad towards the end, but uh, just funny watching all the crap that Steve Martin has to put up put up with him and uh, John Candy are really good together in this movie um, the fact that Steve Martin's uh, character can't stand John Candy's character is, you know just gets on his nerves but they're forced to be together it's just really funny just all the crap that he has to put up with you know everything from tripping over John Candy's trunk that he has curbside in New York City and uh, John Candy swiping his ca uh, Steve Martin's cab and you know forced to sit next to him on the plane and share a small bed in, in a motel because I mean everything else is booked up and, and then they get on a train and that you know breaks down get on a bus but it only goes so far and then they you know Steve Martin tries to get away from him again you know rent a you know, decides to rent a car, but gets to the lot and the car isn't there, and uh, tries to get a taxi and doesn't work out so well, and uh, you know, insults the guy that runs the taxi service, and the guy punches him in the face, and you know, lands on the ro in the road and almost gets run over by John Candy's character, who happens to rent a car, and uh, they get together again and head off in the crappy car that John Candy's character rents. It's all the crap that happens, you know, while, while they're in the car, you know, they take, turn, take turns driving. John Candy's character, you know, decides to try to take his jacket off, you know, while driving. Gets both sleeves hung up on the seat. And, you know, steering the car with his crotch. He's got his crotch wrapped around the steering wheel. And, on the, you know, on the, you know, and then he uh, gets off the off ramp and uh, finally gets free, but you know, 
the car is doing a 360 as they're coming off the uh, off ramp, and you know comes to a stop and pretty much you know John Candy's character is scared to death, you know because of what just happened. You know, then gets back on the freeway, but he ends up ends up on the wrong side of the freeway. You know, on the on the wrong side of the freeway, you know, heading the wrong direction, and uh, you know, think everything's fine. And that car pulls up next to him, and they're trying to tell him, you know, you're going the wrong way. And it's just funny that John Candy's character, uh, he says to Steve Martin's character, "How in the hell do they know where where we're going?" just really funny just all the crap that happens and you know two semis coming at them and they just barely squeeze in between the two of them the two you know the two semis and uh, they finally come to a stop and you know they get out to pick up you know John Candy's you know luggage off the freeway and uh, Steve Martin you know punches them and then the car catches on fire because you know, earlier John Candy threw his cigarette out the window and landed on the back, on the in the back of the car, like on the floor or something like that, and slowly caught on fire. And the car burns up. You know, as they're on the side of the road, and then you know, it's all like just really annoying crap that they have to deal with. You know, but uh, no, it's just a really well done movie. Just. All the crap they go through, but you know, Steve Martin, you know, kind of you know, learns a lesson through all the by dealing with all the crap that they go through. Just a really fun movie. You know, again, it's really sad at the end when you find out what happened happened to uh, John Candy's character. You know, his wife has been dead for so many years, and he's just on the road all the time because he doesn't really have any place to go. But uh, just a Really good movie and highly recommend it.